Most people don't like insurance anyway. It's boring. It's you know, it's not the sort of thing that you want to say you do at a dinner party. So they don't like insurance, and they don't like the way that we deliver the product to them. And at the moment, we're you know, we're call centres or we're web forms, which is 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 not good by and by and large. Um, so absolutely, virtual assistants, chatbots, just how can we communicate with people in a way that they wish to be communicated with, I think is, is the question we have to keep asking ourselves and, and keep having a go at. A lot of the challenge for the consumer in the um, insurance purchase is having the confidence to know that they're buying the right product. Um, and I think increasingly, you know, chatbots um, provide the ability to have the customer ask what is a, a unique question for them but is quite a common question as far as our product sets may be concerned. Um, I don't think that any consumer woke up in the morning and say I really don't want to talk to an individual I really like to talk to a bot instead. I, I don't think this happens. I mean I think this is a this is a born out of necessity uh, solution to cut costs and not a born out of desire to better serve customers. My view is that bots and chatbots are relevant in specific situation, but it's not just the bot. Uh, it will be you know, voice, uh, AI, it will include uh, image recognition AI. So it's a series of artificial intelligent machine learning led uh, capabilities which are going to drive differences in the marketplace. What we need to give our customers is actually choice. Right? There are times when you just want to talk to someone, right? And we should be, you know, we should never replace people entirely, right? We won't. So virtual assistants are another, um, another channel. If I'm honest, I have concerns at a societal level as to how we're going to replace some of those low-level jobs. I mean, I'm from the north of England and we have an awful lot of call centres there and it, it does provide um, work for a number of people and I, I think all businesses should be asking themselves that question as to the as we use more and more of this technology what does that mean from from a workforce perspective but I think from a consumer journey perspective you, you can't argue with it it's definitely what people want